Training camp is underway and all eyes have been on the sixth overall pick offensive lineman Paris Johnson Jr. Where is he lining up? How's he looked? With Craig Grelu, I'm Danny Strack. We're going to answer all that and more on camp credentials powered by Cox. Craig, Paris Johnson Jr. has been playing mostly at right tackle, though he does have the versatility to move along the line. How's he looked so far? He's looked very, very good. He's hard to miss. 6'6", 313 pounds, but you talk about the right tackle position. He's basically been on the right side of the line of scrimmage and entrenched at that right tackle spot. First day in pads, I thought he held up very, very well because it's his first time at this level in pads, the intensity ramps up. Yeah, there were some shaky moments, but overall it's hard not to like what the Cardinals have as far as anchoring that weak side, if you will, as far as the other side, the strong side with DJ Humphreys on one side and Paris Johnson on the other. When offensive coordinator Drew Pensing was asked what he likes about Paris Johnson throughout camp so far, his answer was he's big with a pretty big smile. And that was almost his entire answer. Pensing did mention that Johnson's feet have looked really good as well throughout practice. DJ Humphreys starting left tackle is the longest tenured Cardinal on this roster. And Humphreys had high words when it came to describing how Paris Johnson has done off the field when it comes to learning the playbook and the effort he's put in on that side as well. How impressive is that to hear when you have Humphreys talking about your rookie offensive lineman opposite of him and how well he's understanding this playbook? It's a real credit to DJ to be able to put his arm around a young player that may someday, maybe down the line, years down the line, be DJ's replacement. But it's that veteran, which is still kind of hard to believe that DJ is a veteran, but it's that veteran helping out the rookie, something that DJ has talked about that he didn't really have that one person or a couple of different guys to kind of help him come along. But the one thing about Paris is he's open to that coaching, whether it is from Clayton Adams or from one of those veterans, whether it is a DJ Humphreys or a Kelvin Beecham. And I think that's what this front office and coaching staff like. Yeah, he has all the measurables talking about Paris Johnson, but he also knows what he doesn't know and what he doesn't know he's willing to learn and listen to get better. Head coach Jonathan Gannon has talked about wanting to mix up the offensive line combinations. Right tackle Kelvin Beecham was your starting right tackle last season. He's still on the team. However, it's been Paris Johnson who's been getting those first team reps. What sort of competition do you expect to see between Beecham and Johnson moving forward? Honestly, so far in training camp, I don't see a lot of competition. It's Paris's job to lose, but we're seeing the versatility is on that second team of the offensive line, whether it's Kelvin Beecham on the right side, Josh Jones on the left side as far as the tackle position, and then sometimes they swap one goes to the other side and then you mix and match but those first five on the offensive line they've been pretty settled so far in training camp speaking of the rest of the five on the offensive line anybody else stand out to you so far through camp well you got to look at the rookie john Gaines. kind of lost in the shuffle everyone gets the attention looks at paris johnson but Gaines is someone who i think can perhaps have a role, whether it's at center or one of the two guard positions. Another player to keep an eye on, relative newcomer, had Elfline, a veteran in the middle of that offensive line. He has slowly worked his way up that depth chart, was the last of the five centers. Now he's kind of in that mix, making a push to be that second string, dare I say third string starting center. And maybe depending how long camp goes, can he make that push to supplant Yelda Froholt as your starting center week one? Still a lot of time between now and September, but those are two names to keep an eye on. Plenty of storylines along the offensive line to follow throughout camp. You can follow along throughout more camp credentials and all other content on azcardinals.com. For Craig Relu, I'm Danny Strike. Thanks so much for tuning in to Camp Credentials.